Business is thriving at the Indian Ocean Star restaurant in Somalia's capital, Mogadishu. Unthinkable a year ago, today the restaurant is serving lobster and fresh fish to a clientele of well-to-do Somalis and expatriates. It is one of a few businesses springing up here in the Lido Beach neighborhood, an area left to ruin during 20 years of war and conflict. The owner, Mohamed Harid Dagi, came back to Mogadishu from London six months ago, sensing opportunity. We hope Somalis who are overseas, or wherever they are in this world, will come back. If everyone comes back, we can change things, and the young people of this country can be given jobs. The city has experienced a rebirth after African Union and transitional government forces pushed al-Shabaab militants out of Mogadishu a year ago. A construction boom is taking place in recently reclaimed neighborhoods, including this district, known as Kilometer 5. Lumber and other building materials have been flooding in through the city's port, and exports also are rising. Higher demand has been pushing up prices and raising the cost of living. Sawmill owner Hassan Sanke Ali is busier than ever. People are coming out to buy building materials. Most of the people coming to buy are either building new houses or renovating existing houses. All of the city's records were lost during the decades of conflict, and some ownership disputes have arisen over abandoned properties. Mogadishu Mayor Mohamed Ahmed Noor says the city does not have the capacity to document new construction. Right now there are a lot of uh, priorities rather than counting how many buildings are repaired. Uh, we are struggling with the basic services, basic services. So I cannot give you a, a correct figure, but I can tell you that the, the figure is huge. Every sound, wherever road that you go, every sound you, you will hear the hammer and nail rather than hearing the bullets. Somali businessmen are taking advantage of Mogadishu's gold rush, but sustained development will depend on the success of a political transition due to culminate next month with the election of a new president. A lot of things called K KYC, know your customers, right. uh, anti-money laundering. Liban Abdi Egal is the founder of First Somali Bank, the country's first private bank. He says the incoming government needs to establish strong regulatory agencies to replace the powerless central bank. The central banks and the government has a role to play here, which is very legitimate and very helpful to me. You know, because if they get stronger, I get stronger. So there's, uh, there's understanding my part of me that I really wanted them to get stronger. But the position that is that we are in right now, where uh, we is just the country is being rebuilt, the institutions are coming back. Uh, they are not where they can help us as a bank. Often referred to as the world's most dangerous city, Mogadishu now has the chance of a lifetime to return to its former beauty. Gabe Joslow, VOA News, Mogadishu.